In this video, I'm gonna share my top three favorite books for perfumery. So whether you're a beginner and you're trying to learn a bit about perfumery, or you're more advanced and you're just looking to brush up or maybe even learn some new fundamental skills, then I would definitely check out these three books if you haven't already. This video is sponsored by Luxeterra, my online store where you can find all of the essential equipment for perfumery. Only good quality and good value for money products make the cut and I use almost all of the products myself when making perfumes for my brand. To browse the full range of products, visit wwwlux or click the link in the description. So the first book that I've got here is Perfumery, Practice and Principles. And this is probably my favorite book of all time with regards to perfumery. So essentially what this book is, is it's written in the style of a textbook aimed at the beginner perfumer and specifically a beginner perfumer looking to enter the perfume industry. Now, despite teaching perfumery for you guys at home on my YouTube channel, I've always been really inspired by professionalism in perfumery and trying to do things the proper way like they would do in the industry. So that's probably one of the reasons that this book resonates so much with me, but I do think that's good because that means I can teach the uh, best knowledge possible to you guys on the channel. And in this book, this is exactly what you get. It's really written from the point of view as if it were training a beginner perfumer, someone who's really just looking to enter the industry and actually become a perfumer hired by one of the big fragrance companies. The one downside about this book is it is really quite expensive. I first read it at the library a few years ago, but only now have I finally gone and pulled the trigger and actually bought it. So that is a tip for you. If you do want to read this book, then I would recommend trying to look for it in the library if you can't afford to buy it straight away. So anyway, what does it actually cover? Well, in my opinion, this book really has the best overview out of any book I know of the kind of fundamental skills which will help you as a creative perfumer. So it starts off with essentially saying what it takes to be a perfumer and, you know, is perfumery even for you? And this is all from the perspective of if you're actually trying to get a job in the perfume industry. And then it starts talking about the raw materials, how to smell them properly, how to learn them. And it actually also gives you a recommended beginner's palette of raw materials as well, which I think is quite good. And it also explains on a kind of categorization system for those raw materials. So that's pretty good because it gives you some structure to help with your learning. And it also gives you kind of an eye for what the kind of a canonical or more well accepted way of categorizing raw materials might be. And I say that because I usually recommend trying to create your own categories for raw materials based on your associations, but I also think it's good to have a kind of standard um, or more generally accepted knowledge of where things should be as well. Anyway, another really nice thing about this book is it really goes into detail about accords and more specifically the floral accords. It has a wide range of floral accords, things like rose, jasmine, and it goes through and it actually gives you uh, different compounding notes. So it gives you lists of different raw materials that can make up those accords. And I think that's really helpful because if you want to go and make these floral accords, and this is one of the kind of major studies for uh, professional students in perfumery making floral accords, well, it really gives you a good guide on how to get started with these. Now, it doesn't give you any formulas, but still the amount of knowledge that you can actually gain in this book about those floral accords is still really great. And if anything, it's almost nice not having formulas because it really gives you a great starting point for experimentation where you still have to actually go and do the work and learn yourself without just going to make something you either think, oh, well, that's nice or that's not. And then you don't really learn that much if you're just building a formula. Anyway, as well as that, the book talks about the technique of matching, both in terms of traditional perfumery, where you might try to recreate a perfume or learn how to kind of take inspiration from existing perfumes. And it does that both through the lens of doing it more manually and also doing it with a GCMS, which is a machine. I've done another video about that. You can check it out. It's basically a machine which helps you analyze what's in different perfumes. Then in addition to that, it also gives you a guide on structuring perfumes. So it gives you some general rules of thumbs and some kind of concepts, which I think are really nice because they help give you a framework for thinking about things when you're actually going to build your perfumes. And I think that these can actually help you, especially as you get a bit more advanced in your perfumery. The book also does an analysis of some famous perfumes. And I think that's really nice because it gives you some ideas just a bit about how those perfumes are structured. And then finally, it gives you some notes on things like marketing and also some chemistry fundamentals to help you understand um, certain 
chemistry things where chemistry can actually come into play in your perfumery and it can also uh, help you when you're creating perfumes not just for regular kind of alcoholic perfumes but also if you're looking to create perfumes in different product bases so things like uh, creams or soaps this book also has a section on that so really all in all this book has an absolute massive trove of knowledge it's just filled with um, knowledge and it's really I would say the best book there is if you're really serious about perfumery and you really want to learn perfumery in the professional way and you want to try to teach yourself in a disciplined and proper way to really become a good skilled perfumer then I would say this book is really the best one. In fact, for that reason, if you had to take away all of my other perfumery books and give me just one to pick to keep, then this would be that one because I really think there's just so much valuable information inside this book. Anyway, moving on to my second favorite perfumery book. This one is Perfume the Alchemy of Scent by Jean-Claude Elena. Now, if you've been watching my channel for any uh, length of time, you've probably seen me mention this book before. And that's because this really is my most recommended beginner's book for perfumery. While this is shorter than the other books here, it is still very concise and packed full of information. The other great thing about this book is unlike all of the other perfumery books, which I think are really good, this one is actually really cheap and accessible, meaning that you can pick up this book and learn a lot without having to spend much cash at all. And that's one of the reasons I think it's ideal for beginners. And of course, it's written by Jean-Claude Elena, who's my favorite perfumer, and he is a master perfumer, probably one of the most famous perfumers in the world. He had a really long period of working for Hermes, the uh, famous luxury brand. So if you're gonna trust anyone writing a book on perfumery, then this is probably the guy to trust. So if we go and have a look inside this book, what's actually in it. So the book talks briefly about the history of modern perfumery, and I find that quite interesting just to begin things off. And then it also covers, just quickly, the olfactory system and how we smell things. Then it moves on to the different raw materials and how to smell them. And I think this is a really important part of the book. It also gives you Jean-Claude Elena's personal perfumery palette. And for me, that really is one of the highlights of the book, because especially as a beginner and you're not sure amongst the sea of aroma chemicals and different raw materials, which ones are actually worth you buying. Being able to see the working palette of a true master perfumer is something that's really useful and it can help uh, indicate which raw materials you may actually want to get and which ones are worth having. Then he gives you a couple of exercises to help you learn those raw materials, which are really useful. And then he moves on to talking about things like accords or olfactory illusions, as he calls them. And specifically, he gives you a guide to creating certain different fruit accords. And I find that really, really helpful. So again, I think that's one of the highlights of the book. And this kind of gives you a good idea of how to start thinking about blending things and making accords in perfumery. Then after that, he starts talking a little bit about perfumes, a little bit about marketing, bringing your products to the market, things like trademarking, trying to protect your perfumes, all that kind of stuff. And he just kind of gives you a very concise overview of a lot of these kind of different topics. So essentially, this book is just a really great starting point. It won't take you very long to read. It won't cost you very much. And you'll learn a lot from it. Probably after reading this, you have a much better idea if perfumery is actually for you or not at all. So yeah, this one, if you were a beginner and you asked me what you would recommend, I would recommend this book. And even if you're not a beginner and you haven't read this book yet, I would still recommend reading it because I do go back to it and refer to it quite frequently. Moving on to the final book on the list, and that one is Scent and Chemistry. Now they did release a new edition of this book quite recently, so if you look at it online, it may look a little bit different. This is the old version. And as the name suggests, this book is really quite big on chemistry. So if you are a chemist or someone who's done a degree in chemistry and you're interested in perfumery or you're a perfumer as well, then I really would recommend this book for you. If on the other hand, you've never done any chemistry and you don't understand any of it, I probably would stay clear of this book just because it's pretty dense and heavy reading. You might not find yourself understanding that much from it. So essentially what this book really is, is a big guide to uh, aroma chemicals. But unlike other books, which also kind of list out aroma chemicals and give you kind of a description of what they smell like, and those books are good too. I couldn't put everything on this list. And this book specifically um, discusses things like the composition of natural products, so which aroma chemicals make them up. It also discovers the synthetic roots to make those aroma chemicals, which isn't so important if you're a perfumer, but I think there are probably other people in the industry who have a use for that with this book. 
And then it also talks about the usage of certain aroma chemicals in famous perfumes. And all of this taken together along with kind of a history and like a context for certain uh, natural raw materials and aroma chemicals that this book provides, really does provide for quite an interesting read. Essentially, it gives you a lot of information for certain kind of natural products and aroma chemicals, both their history on things like when they were discovered, and then it gives you things like the breakdown and what kind of perfumes those either natural products or actually just single aroma chemicals are used in. And I really think that although this doesn't directly help you make better perfumes, it often gives you a lot of kind of nice interesting context which in turn translates itself into inspiration essentially for things because when you start learning about some of the relationships or history of these kind of things that you never knew about, it can kind of spark some ideas in your head for different ways to try things and of course just learning about certain things, how much they use that or which levels in certain famous perfumes, that can be really important as well, especially with some raw materials, you know, when you're trying to use them for the first time, you're trying to work out how the hell you're actually meant to use them. Well, having a bit of a helping hand sometimes can help and this book sometimes does just that. So this book is really a compendium of knowledge. Again, it's very technical. There's a lot of um, chemistry in here. Some of the pages are just loads of references to other things like scientific papers. Other pages are just kind of loads of molecular structure diagrams with um, things like synthesis, of the chemicals or talking about the different enantiomers or mirror image of the molecules and the differences between things like that. Anyway, this book has been an invaluable resource, especially for helping me do the research for some of my videos on certain aroma chemicals, for example, things like coumarin or salicylates. Um, in those videos, I'm pretty sure that I use some knowledge from this book, for example. Matt said, this book is very technical. And I really would only recommend you get it if you've got a degree level of training in chemistry. And the reason for that is because otherwise you'll probably open it, immediately get bored, not be able to read a lot of it, and then you'll just feel like you've gone and wasted your money. Now, it's not to say that you couldn't read this book if you didn't have a degree in chemistry. It's just that probably most people wouldn't get so far with it. So if you have enough passion, then yes, you could get this and try to get through it. But where this book really shines, I think, is if you do have a strong background in chemistry and you are interested in the overlap between chemistry, perfumery, and the history of perfumery, then this book really is the perfect book for that. So that's it, my top three books for perfumery. Now, I will put links to these books in the description if you're looking at picking up some of these for yourself. And again, I really do recommend these books. I really do like them myself. So hopefully this video has been useful. Hopefully you can pick up one of these books if you don't have them already and get some value out of them because I think all of them are well worth the money spent. Now, if you like this video and want to see more videos in the future all about perfumery, things like raw materials, blending accords, and other bits of knowledge like these books, then definitely consider liking the video and subscribing to the channel. Because if you do that, that means the YouTube algorithm will detect that you like these videos and every time I release a new one, it will put them straight to the top of your inbox and your subscription feed. So that said, thank you very much for watching. Really hope you enjoyed the video and have a great week. I'll see you soon with another video all about perfumery.